Hello Grade Nines, uh, Dr. Navario here, one more time. Uh, yeah man, why not, let's just have some fun here. And uh, what are we going to do at Awaiki and Lai in the uh, We'll be looking at the Temp to Wake, of which we'll be us discussing of functions. No big deal, so all of it is nene. What you have to do for us is to keep on practicing. And uh, if you have questions or you need one-on-one uh, -on -one extra lessons, you're just going to take my contact after the lesson and uh, why not? We're going to have some fun together in person. So now, uh, what have I said? I have said that we are going to start looking at what we call functions. Okay. So now, uh, with functions, this is whereby we will be looking at our so-called Cartesian plane, okay? So that will be the Cartesian plane and uh, number two, well, we'll be looking at the straight line graph, okay? So that is the straight, this is A, so that will be the straight line. Rough and uh, number three, well, we're going to look at more aspect to do with the graph okay so i believe that we are going to have some fun here i apologize with my handwriting just that you know i'm still trying to learn how to use this new gadget as for creating videos and all that my little okay just like that so let's just do a recap i said to you that we'll be looking at functions and then other functions we'll be looking at the Cartesian plane different aspects of the Cartesian plane how can you go about using the Cartesian plane how you can plot the points on the Cartesian plane and so forth and again the next one here straight line graph and then how can we go about drawing the straight line graph being given a table okay a table which we first have to complete with uh the help of using a calculator or not using a calculator and lastly more aspect to do with the graph which graph straight line graph and there so now uh allow me to divide okay so i'm going to divide this into two so that we can start right away with the Cartesian plane. So now I vitamin get a market is Sungula na Cartesian plane ya hina. So now we have the Cartesian plane. Okay. So now what do we have here? What will be this Cartesian plane? But now kuta kuri chumu wa this uh format. We are going to have something of this nature. And this is whereby we are going to call it the origin uh, with Y right here and again with X right there. So we have the Y axis and again we have the X axis right here. So this whole line here, this whole line here, this will be my X axis and again this whole line here will be my Y axis. Okay, so let's We can all see that this Cartesian plane of ours is divided into four. We have this one here, of which I am going to call it the first quadrant. And again, we have this one here, of which I'm going to call it the second. And this one here, the third. And this one here, the fourth. So let's show me like in now. Let's show me like go Cartesian plane and I divide it into four. Yeah, that, that's very very good to familiarize yourself with this one here. Cause in grade ten you're going to use this as well. Grade eleven, grade twelve, university are uh, standard. You are still going to see this Cartesian plane coming back uh, to you. So now, 
Le show me le la eko katazem penya heina ye famba in a form of a uh, two coordinate form of which will be x and then y and then so now with this first quadrant there now what do we have we have x and y both of these being positive and again here we have a negative x and we have a y right there being positive here we have a negative x and again uh here we have a negative y but then here we have a positive x na negative y all right so now looking at what we have here uh let's so no sana task so if una go by got on line go draw one graph here na go plot at the point here na the thing at that ni queen and again when we get to to the topic which is called the transformation geometry go that the global work can be cut simply not on the point thing and not so that you can be able to transform you know you translate and all that so now uh i analyze it magali thing and not on again so logo in nanguta kusukala ia hal la lo de la no in wa x and there so lo con su kala ni hal the x value sta mean the battery in i now say e positive and again in e positive and there e we ni tak su kala ni hal ko me la in the x value sta mean ma x values are what a negative and also here being negative but then now lo con nang sa la in lo mean lo this y x is here what do we have well in a kusukala ya le enta le le kuma kuini y na in a y is what it's positive but then now as for moving here down there a y is what is negative right there that being negative and then so let's look at okay if they can say to me that i have to plot the following points i go bare a plot the following so we have to plot the following So now I will call this point A here. We have a two and a two, and again we have B here, which is a minus two and a two, and we have C here, which is a a negative one and a negative one. So now. I know some people are mainly in the point that they are not known. Remember what I said. We always have to start with x and then what and then y. But then now looking at what we have, in a value in a a, laying a nigwa in a yeah, it's given by two to two. So now continue now on the third and b. I can see that x is positive and y is positive. So let's look at point here. Mina a divided by b. The point A will be right here. The quadrant A. We are still going to do more examples whereby you see myself trying to uh, plot all of this point. Right now, I'm just trying to make you see the bigger picture here. Where I going to put this? Where I going to put that? And then Nangsa B. Okay, B. We have a negative two uh, and a two. So we're going Nanguta X A N A negative Y A N A positive. Which quadrant will be that? Ella X A N A negative Y A N A N A positive. Of which it is saying to us that B will. Be somewhere right there, and then now looking at the next one of which is number C, we have negative one, negative one, x negative, y negative, equivalent. This will be the quadrant, and this is where we're going to have what our C. Okay, so now shemwan lech ofan la kush tegalan shukuin iyini na iku an sagalain loan. Then on top of this line here, the y axis. Let me just try to get. Uh, another color here and red will do. So now on top of this line, and then on top of this line, we must know that x is equal to zero. Okay, starting from here down there, this is whereby your x is always going to be zero. But then now, I have seen that line low one. What are we going to conclude? Well, it's vice versa. And then on top of this line, your y will always be equal to what zero. So let's look. Go. If I have to say that, I have to plot plot the point. Let's say number D. We have zero is to two, and then number E we have uh three 
is to zero. So kya ho mele la na ta fana wo nuk okay examine zero why am I not two on that? So nuk zuko okay what have I said? Well I have said to you that x is zero and shaka la no one. So it's block point li yaba ah in shaka la no one on that. So nuk zuko la ka zero am I na la examine nga zero kona even from the session so ni alanga na y nga two of which if I have to put it here that will be y being positive. So this will be the point what. D right there, okay. Even in the we are going to the next point here, of which is E. So number E, I have three is to zero. Let's look x minus e three, y minus zero, y is zero queen, and like I know, and there x is positive queen right here. So if this will be the point three, yeah, this is where we're going to have what E right there, okay. So in terms of the sinus flagula here, between the coronary, in the in so uh, why not? Let's just try to. Uh, clean up the board here, yeah. clean up the board here yeah, so that we can be able to start floating. It won't look good. Yeah, so this will be in there. So now that will be me trying to clear what we have here. Yeah. And there we go. So now let me just get back to the black color. So now there we go, black color. So now, okay, so what I'll do now is to just divide this board of ours. So I'm dividing the board of ours now into two parts. And now, uh, let's just try to look at examples. Okay, I went in the examples could be combined. So now, uh, number one. Okay, so number one, they say to us that uh, plot the following. points on a Cartesian plane. So now we are given uh, A, okay, that must look like A, as given by 1 as to 2 and we have B which is given by negative 1 is to negative 2 and we have C which says to add that we have negative 1 is to uh, 3 and we have D which is given by uh, 1 is to negative 3 and again we have E which is given by, uh, let's say that we have zero and negative two, and we have F, which is given by negative two is to zero. Okay, so now they're saying that we have to plot all of this point, the Cartesian plane now, you know, well, is this a big deal? No, we don't have a big deal when it comes to mathematics. So let's see what are we going to have. So now we have to remember the sketch of an plane. The problem when it comes to math, uh, it is not common. I'm not stupid. She puts a screen. Cartesian plane, or the moon, you, the phenomenon. So a plane, you can Cartesian, no, come on. No, 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 You do not have to do that. So now, what we're going to have here will be us drawing the Cartesian plane. Yeah, it has to be a straight line. It's just that. I am using my fingers to do this. I don't have a ruler. So now this will be my uh, y axis. And again, this will be my x axis. And that will be the point where y is 0 and x is 0. So, look at the check line. Uh, the point I mean, the y, the highest point here of y, in other words, it's x, y, x, y. And there. So, the highest point of y here at a positive 3, that's what I'm going to do uh, with my scale factor of 1, so that will be 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then now I'll come down here, so that will be negative 1, and then that will be negative 2, and that will be a negative 3, and uh, here I am going to have 1, and I am going to have 2, and I am going to have 3, and right here, what are we going to have? That will be a negative 1, 
eh, that will be a negative two, eh, that will be a negative three, okay? So now, why is it like this? Remember what I said? Here, x and y to positive. So looking at what we have here, x is positive, y is positive, and again, quadrant layer one, x is negative, and then y is positive, okay? So let me just try to write them down here. We had x being positive and y being positive. Here, negative x and a positive y. Here, they're both negative, uh, just like that. And here, we had y, x being positive and y being negative. Okay, so now that we have all of our points here, I want to go how we're going to work this out. So now, starting with the first one here, we have a, which is given by one is to two. So look next at the values that mean under the mirror. Now, so one good, okay, x e positive, y positive. So which quadrant is that? So when I check here, x is negative, y is positive. No. When I check here, x is negative, y is negative. No. When I check here, x is positive, y is negative. No. But when I check here, in quadrant under the mirror, the the positive. Let's look. Okay, nitaya ga x lakungana one. So this will be uh one here for x. Even look we can we now y longer two. So y will be two just right here. This is where they both meeting. And then x is one and then y in a two. And this will be the point a. Okay, so now moving on to the next point, uh, looking at what we have, we have b, negative 1, and a minus 2. So now they're both negative, so this will be the quadrant here, x is negative, y is negative. If we look, okay, x is negative 1, ilan on there, mara is negative 2, so this will be the point here. This is where they, they, they both meeting, they both meeting right here. So surely you can see that and this will be the point B. And then moving on to number C, we have X being negative one, uh, Y being a three. So negative one for X, Y being a three. This will be the point here and that will be our C. And now moving on to number D, we have X being positive, Y negative. So X is positive here, Y negative here. So our X is the one and uh, negative three will be somewhat right here. So this is where they will be meeting and that will be the point uh, D. Okay, and then looking at the next one, we have E, which is given by 0, is to minus 2. So, now we're going to x is 0. And then we x is 0. x is 0 on top of this line here. So, the negative 2 will be just right here. So, this is where I am going to have the point E. Okay. And then now, moving on to F, I have x being a negative 2, y being 0. So, y is 0. We land on it. But x is a negative 2. So, this will be the point right here so we're going to have this as f ah, was that hard no 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 that was not hard and what do you do each and every time when you're given a problem in maths and you get everything correctly do not forget to do what to smile why that is you getting it right and that simply means that you are going to the next grade but Okay, so now that we know how to plot our points uh, on the Cartesian plane, uh, what we have to do as for now will be us uh, trying to uh, see how can we sketch a graph given a table that we have to complete, how can we go about drawing a graph of a straight line? And then, so now that will be the next part of our lesson here. Let's see what are we going to have. So that will be me trying to create some room here. Let me just try to create some room. And well, actually, you have the note. You have the note down. So now let's see what do we have. So now this will be us. The what what we did the last time. We divided the board first. Okay. So that is us dividing the board. And now let's see. This is part two of our lesson so now this is part two okay so now what do we have so here we'll be looking at the so-called so this is the 
straight line graph. Okay, so now let's see another national law. You can see the way it, it's a straight line. It, it's a straight line. What rough meaning that what we have to draw here it has to be something like this or something like this or something like this or something like this. Okay, then and then and then then us go back to the go back to the straight line. All right, I know that what we have here is not a straight line due to what I do not have a ruler with me, okay? But then you know, uh, by straight line, so this is what we have in here, it's something of this nature here. So now, let's say they say to add that, uh, number A, okay? So number A, they say to add the given the following, uh, okay, so now they say to add the given the following equation we say to us that y is equals to uh, 2x minus 1 complete the following table and sketch the graph. So now let's see what do we have as for the table. So now let me just try to uh, draw a, a nice table here. It's not that easy without a ruler, but uh, you know just for you to understand. So there we go. So the same to add that this is the x values and what do we have here uh, the y values so we're going to take it from a minus uh, 2 and then a minus 1 we have 0 and 1 and then 2 and then 3 okay so now looking at what we have here guys uh, we are given the x values okay so now let me just try to get another color here red again so looking what we have we are given the x values okay of which our x values is what we usually call the inputs okay and the results which we're going to get when we substitute the input we are going to get the y values Okay, so this will be the y values, right? What we have here, of which is what we usually call the output. Okay, so now, what is the meaning of this? Let's just explain it now. So we'll go, we are going to take this equation of ours and use it to do what? Use it to complete this table, meaning that if I come over and la 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 and how are we going to do that? Well this is easy, very very easy. Uh where there is x equation nine come and y the output here we have to substitute this x value uh of minus two where there's x equation there and this work okay so this is what we're going to have as for the first one here let me just call that number a and call this number b and call that number c and call this number d and call this number e and call that one there 
number F. Okay, so now as for the first one of which will be number eight right there. So there's a thing to uh, that we are given uh, y which is equals to two where there is x what do we substitute we substitute a minus two we close that and then we minus a one here and then now we have to work this out okay term one work simplifying this two times negative two that's a minus four and now we're going to minus the one here and that is going to give us what a negative five okay you can simply do this using a calculator do the patching in right away you're going to get the answer and for this one here that will be a minus five okay so now i want you to try and pause the video right now pause the video hit the pop button okay so you have to pause the video and try to get the value of b c uh, uh d e f uh by your own and then after that you're going to check the solution okay don't you don't you pause the video Ah, uh, there you go. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, do the solutions. So, now, let's just move on to into getting the next one here, of which will be our number B. So, looking at the next one, we have the same equation. We say to other, it's Y, which is equal to 2. Remember, where there is X, we substitute what the input, so that is a negative okay so that is a negative one we close that and then we minus a one so that will be a minus two minus one and that is going to give us a minus what as a minus three so i'm going to substitute it right here so we have a minus three and then moving on to the next one of which will be our number c here so we have y which is equate that to two and then we substitute what uh zero and then we minus one well remember that anything multiplied by zero becomes zero and then we minus one here well that must be looking like a zero and zero minus one well it's a negative one and we're going to put our negative one here and then we come into the next point of which will be number d so what do we have we have y which is equal to 2 into 1 with minus that. So uh, what are we going to have? 2 times 1 is a 2 minus 1. And that will be what? 1. And then we come into the next one here of which will be number e. So we have y which is equal to 2 into 2 and then with minus a 1. So that is going to be 4 minus that. And we're going to get a 3 here. So we're going to substitute a 3 here. And here we're going to substitute a 1 right there. And then lastly, of which will be our number F. So number F, what do we have? We have Y, which is equal to 2 into 3. And then we minus a 1. So that will be 6 minus 1. And what are we going to get? It's a 5. So that is going to be a five right there, okay? So now, uh, now that we have our points here, remember it's always going to be what? X and, and then Y, okay? So it's always going to be X and then Y. Uh, with the first one here, it's X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y. Let's see if we'll be able to sketch our graph here. So how are we going to do that? How are we going to sketch the graph here? How are we going to do that? Well, that's a good question. So now this is whereby, okay, let me just try to uh, fix that. Let me just try to fix that. Okay, so what we're going to have here will be us uh, having our Cartesian plane. Okay, let me just try to get another color here. Well, blue. So now, let's see what do we have. We have another color here to draw a graph. Oh, that we go. Cartesian plane. It has to be a straight line, remember? So now, this is what we're going to have. And that will be the y-axis. Okay, and we're going to have the x-axis. So that will be the origin zero. So now, uh, look, we're now to the point that uh, we have the highest value of y being a positive five and the lowest being a negative five. So this look, okay, this is what we're going to have here. Yeah, that will be uh, that will be one right here, and the next one will be two, and the next one will be three. 
and the next one will be four, and the next one will be five. Well, I can get to six. There's nothing wrong with that. And then coming down here, we are going to have what? A negative one, and we're going to have a negative two, and we're going to have a negative three, and we're going to have a negative four, and we're going to have a negative five down here. And what are we going to have here? Well, that is going to be one. And what are we going to have? That will be two. And what are we going to have? That will be three. And well, we're going to leave it here at four. Why are we leaving it at four? Look, I check out the various side of the X, then it's like a positive three. And this side, it's a negative two. So here, we're going to have a negative one. And there we go with a negative two, and there we go with a negative three. So now, uh, why not? Let's just try to uh, plot the points which we're having. So look, right now with that point there, and I use Sungula of which it's right here, this one here, we have a minus two and a negative five. So I'll come where X is a negative two and a negative five for Y. So this will be the point right here. And then the next point, we have a negative one and a negative three. X is a negative one, Y is a negative three. So this will be uh, the point just right here. And then looking at the next one, we have zero is to negative one, of which is just this one here. So X is zero, can be X is zero going on, like a line low on it. So that will be zero. And what do we have? And a negative one. So this will be the point right here. And then looking at the next one, we have one is to one. So now where is one is to one? One is to one will be just right here. There we go. And then looking at the next one here, uh, what do we have? We have uh, 2 is to 3, x being 2, y being 3. So x being 2 is right here, y being 3 will be just right here. There we go. And then now looking at the next one, we have 3 is to 5, uh, 3x and then y being 5. So that will be just right here. Okay. So now look at the point as well. Look at the point and the thing and the thing the end line straight line on there. So now let me just try to join all of those points. Uh, well, use green. So now, uh, there we go. That will be me trying to join this point here. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, uh, it's actually going to be something of uh this nature here okay so this will be our straight line graph and that is what we have it it will be going to infinity and again it will be going to what infinity meaning that uh graph in it oh yeah key from besides so you have figure let you only later hit the journey from besides so ilia you go aka homo for tini ilia you go a qua laya ya qua laya ya qua laya you from say says and there so now that is how you can go about using what using your table uh method being given a straight down function which you have to do what which you have to draw so now uh what i can uh advise you to do here will, will, will be what well, we, we will be uh looking at some key factors of this straight line of ours and so i in in yeah yeah kumba the key factors that go how are you going to know great listeners draw in the iso and so forth so now that will be me uh trying to get some space here so now uh let's just try to get some room uh there we go so now uh, let me just get back to the color black and that will be me dividing this so now there we go dividing this dividing this so now we are still discussing of the linear uh, function here so the method number two uh, for calculating and also drawing the graph and then so now the shifana go the straight line the straight line graph 
es given in a form of y is equal to mx plus c. And then, this is really good. Okay, previously we had an example which was saying to other y is equal to 2x. Uh, what was that? 2x minus 1. So looking at what we have here, let me just try to get another color to work on that. So looking at what we have here, the value of m, laying a common name, the x sign, and then the one which is performing some multiplication with the x right there. So now we can say that m was equal to what? To 2. And then, and again, m was what? A positive digit so what is uh, the meaning of this the meaning of this local value i mean i have m the gradient this guy here m the gradient okay so uh, m is called the gradient so now uh the gradient if the gradient is positive shape your graph i mean yet some in this equation this will be the shape of my graph and then, but then if we had something like y is equal to minus 2x plus 4, well, m minus is in, it's a negative 2. So if m is equal to a negative 2, therefore, the shape of the graph will have to be something of that nature. And then, so now, uh, what else can we say here? Look, in good. it's in the form of y is, is equal to what mx plus c. We have the value of c here, of which it's going to be this guy here. So our c, that will be a negative 1. And again, c laying an iota. This c guy here is the so-called y cut or the y inter y intercept now x intercept no so long okay so now again here let me just try to get another color black what do we have here we have this guy here of which will be the value of y which is equal to what a four okay so that will be the y cut okay so now then I come mean and there are not even okay. Look, M I mean I positive. Shape your graph I mean I double time so. So then put us in the so. And again, look, M I mean I negative. Shape your graph I mean I double time so. So so then put us in the so. And there. So now, what if uh we are having the value of M being equal to zero? Of which example you got to learn the graph of y is equal to 2. So what will happen? Logo m ya minering anana 0. Uh what am I going to have? I won't go no level in. Logo m la I over 0. So I have a 0 multiplied by x of which is 0. So I have a negative 1 and there. Of which is now saying to add that this will be what we call the y intercept so roughly if we draw any we have a line so the, the horizontal line which will be not increasing or decreasing so this is what we're going to have right there and there so now uh i don't see any listening as in this combination of the intercept so now let's just try to look at the intercepts Okay, so now look on by the intercept of level here at the point. Let the graph I mean, you work up with him the helica tona look here. You can draw on it. So now when I'm now live on the lobby, I land the lad when we calculate. So now when we calculate, uh, the first one, let me just say the y intercept. Well, x must always be zero. And again, when I calculate uh, the x intercept, well, y must be zero as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not forgetting about what we have discussed here, these are actually the key points 
that if m is positive, this will be the shape of the graph. And if m is negative, this will be the shape of the graph. And if m is equal to 0, this will be the shape of the graph right there. And then, so now, uh, let's just try to draw this graph here. And then when you draw any key, there's a, the, the table method. Okay, but this is not a big deal. We can draw the both of them. Okay, so I will start by drawing uh, this one here. And again, I am going to draw this one here using this method here. And about key, there's the basic thing I've already done on it. Okay, good. So now what I have to do uh, will be actually cleaning up this board here. I, I believe that you have the notes. You copy the notes on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you did not, you can just pause the video now and you copy the notes before I erase what I have here. Okay, good. You did that. Good. So now let me just try to clean up this. Uh, so now we're going to clear that. And why not? Let's just try to divide the board so that we can be able to do some examples here. So now, uh, examples. Okay, so that will be examples. Uh, looking at the first one, that was y which is equal to 2x, uh, well, minus 1. Okay, so we have y is equal to 2x minus 1, yeah. So looking at what we have here, this graph here, what are we going to have? So look at the graph here now. Uh, y which is equal to 2x minus 1. Um, let's just start analyzing it first. Well, we have the value of m. So m is equal to a positive 2. That's what shape graph mean by And again, we can now start looking at the y intercept and x intercept. So I calculate in y intercept. So calculating the y intercept, what are we going to do? x if I ring on a 90, not 0. So this will be y, which is equal to 2. We substitute a 0 here, minus a 1. So that will be 2 times 0. That is going to be a 0 minus 1. And we're going to have a negative 1. Okay, we're done with that. And then now looking at the next part, of which will be determining the x-intercept. Okay, so now we are determining the x-intercept. So what do you do when you determine the x intercept? Well, y must be equal to zero. So look at number equation nine. If you go y is equal to two x minus one. So this y guy here must be zero. So that will be zero, which is equal to two x minus one. And what are we going to have now? We are solving for x. Can be local solve for x in this again. We are grouping uh, our terms. The ones which have x, they must own their own side. And the ones without x, they must be taken to the other side if we want to transpose them. So remember that logo e jump is equal sign if I just sign on it. So it's negative one to the other side. That is going to become a what? And we're going to equate it to 2x. Solving for x, we're going to divide by 2 both sides. Divide by 2 both sides. So what we're going to have here, our x will be equal to 1 over 2, of which is the same as 0 0.1, 0 0.5. And there, so now, he not done the key points that he not, the Shifana Gush and also we have the Zara in a coordinate form. So the y intercept x is 0 on there. So this is going to be 0 is 2 minus 1. And now, uh, x intercept y is 0 on there. So that is going to be 1 over 2 is to what? 1 over 2 is to 0. And now we're going to sketch the graph. How are we going to sketch the graph? No big deal here. We are just going to do what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to draw the composition plane. And there we go, drawing the composition plane. So that will be zero here. And we're going to have y. And again, we're going to have x. So we now set the key points that x intercept e and a half and there this will occur a positive half so we can do our scale factor here we can have one right here we can have two right there and we can have a negative one we can have a negative two well looking at the y intercept it's a negative one so what we're going to have here that will be our negative one and that will be our negative two well i can uh, extend this 
to a negative 3 of which it's useless for now and we're going to have a 1 up there, a 2 up there and a 3 up there which is useless again so now, now now I'm going to go okay graph I'm going to find you in that we I need to the intercept I mean graph I'm going find you in that we got x got x if I need in that like a half and then so now I'm going to plot in this point here look okay let me just get another color here what red we do so I am going to highlight this point look x the half queen and the is there and then let you want this vlog off your book with lash garilla. Okay, what about y, y negative 1, the y intercept negative 1. So this will be the point here. If you go line the point, I mean, you have to take a shape plane. Can you see this shape here? This one here. And then I have to cut it and paste it here. So this is what we're going to have. There we go. Shape plane, funny. That little got the point in that. So there we go. There we go. It's a straight line and voila you can see that we have our straight line right there so this will be our straight line graph and therefore we done what's one a growing graph i mm a check okay velena m a positive to use this workshop you're gonna have a little layer a calculator one intercept a calculator nine now x in the sap and therefore what do you do when you get it right oh birdie that is you there that is you there birdie that is you there oh you got it right you are going to the next grade for sure so now uh why not let's just try to uh look at the other example which i promised that we're going to do and then after that we'll be looking at the last part of this lesson of which we'll be surely looking at how can we determine the equation of a straight line well and there uh -huh. so now i end an example there yeah, you know? uh, the hina example but uh be before we do that let's just say that we have uh, example number number two here of which i can do very fast so example number two they say to us that we have to draw the graph of y is equal to two so now sublime come and then the graph is so the way now with the m is equal to zero so this work shape a graph and i find about something of this nature so here we have a while adding on to you with a lot of so this will be the part here let me just try to get another color for that well we for growth so now this is not going draw a line we low shape lay and then in that we got like two yeah, you know? so this is what we're going to have Ooh, there we go there we go boom done and then now let's just try to look at number c so now i'll get some room clear that and going back to the black like me color so now i will need to read by comedy baka prediction extra dr navario borde so now uh this will be our example number c and the same to r that we have to draw the graph of y which is equal to minus 2x uh plus 4 i will agree how can we go about drawing this graph and again of an instable we tell me in the late y is equal to mx plus c and there so now the value of m is equal to a minus two so the shape of my graph will have to be something like that so now right away we're going to calculate the y intercept the calculate the y intercept there now so now our x must be equal to y zero so what are we going to have this will be y which is equal to uh minus two into zero and then we add a four so that is going to be zero plus a four of which is going to be a four and we write this in coordinate form that is going to be zero and four for y and then now we are quickly going to look at the x intercept so there we go with the x inter so now x inter what do you do y must be equated to zero so now uh this will be uh the equation equation and i come by green like y is equal to minus 2x and then we add a four on that so last we look at any y must be equal to zero so this will be zero which is equal to minus 2x uh okay let me just try to fix that uh let me just try to fix that so this is going to be minus 2x 
r plus 4. Remember, we are solving for x here, term 1 whack, linear equations. So this block and then we are grouping them. We're going to transpose this to the other side. Or we can also transpose this one to the other side. No big deal. So look, I take a negative 2x. You have a positive 2x in there. So that will be 2x, which is equal to what? 4. And the next thing which we're going to do here, we're going to divide by 2. And then we divide by 2, solving for x. And our x will be equal to what? 2 okay so now coordinate form we have 2 is to 0 so we have to sketch this graph of ours so now that will be us sketching this graph of ours so there we go the Cartesian plane there we go the Cartesian plane this being the origin so that is y and again this is x looking at the key points x and a and as a uh, positive two so uh, scale factor we have one here and again we have two right there and then looking at the other one y here and as a positive four so that is going to be one and we have two and we have three and we have four right there so now we're going to cut and paste the bigger shape like e regular one if I need in that another so uh, let me just get another color well red so now if I need in that green it got y intercept it in that like an x intercept so that will be me trying to draw the straight line Ooh. uh that must be a straight line I don't have a ruler with me yeah but uh that will have to be the straight line okay oh now I'm making things worse now let me just try to fix on that so uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that because when I try to fix it, I am messing it up. So this will be our graph here and that will be that. Okay, that will be the birthday. So now, uh, what do you do when you get it right? That is you right there smiling. That is you right there smiling. Uh, you got it, you got it, you got it, Burdi. You're going to great that. So now, let's just try to look at the last part of this lesson. Uh, so now uh, let me just try to clear that and get back to what color black like me there we go so now uh, let me just try to divide the board I am dividing the board now dividing the board now so the next thing which you're going to do yeah it's very very easy okay very very easy having something like two to three marks two to three marks we have to collect all the marks let's just not forget about doing that so now, uh, the next thing which we're going to do here will be the so-called determining the equation of a straight line. So now, determining the equation of a straight line in grade 9. Okay? So, if I need to equation 9, if I need in which form, it has to be in a form of y is equal to mx plus c. Okay? So, when they say to us that we have to determine the equation of a line passing through a and b, they say to us that we have to uh, determine the value of m and again the value of c so now i'm just going to show you the quickest way of doing this okay the quickest way of doing this that will be uh taking into consideration that c i in this c guy here will always be the y cut okay the y intercept and again how can we get the value of m of which is our gradient so now i want to m i come to agree so m will be given by y cut divide by the x cut and then the final thing which is very very important what we're going to get here of which will be the answer then what are we going to do with the answer we must change okay so that is change the sign of 
V. Answer. Okay. Yeah. We must always change the sign of the answer. Okay. Let's just do an example. And let's see what are we going to have here right away. So, now, example number A. The to mine the equation of the straight line passing through A and B. So now they're going to give us so that will be Y and that will be X so that is zero here uh we have this point here being a four and we have the other one being a two so i am going to call this point a and i am going to call this point here b so uh let me just try to get another color okay so now this will be our graph Woo. Ah, ah. i have to fix that i have to fix that let me just try to make it a point that i started from here much better oh birdie you know trying again and again and again make things to be worth better so now there we go so our graph is passing through uh four for y and two for x a and b okay so this is my point a right there and this is my point b right there so now how am i going to determine the equation of this graph in a form of y is equal to mx plus c how am i going to do that well no big deal no big deal remember what i said about the value of c here the value of c i've said that this is the y cut so now we already have the value of c so this is y which is equal to m x how much is my y cut well that is a four so i'm going to substitute it's a positive four so i'm going to place a positive four right there okay and now i have to get the value of m how am i going to get the value of m well m is given by the y cut okay the y cut right here how much is the y cut the y intercept well that is the four so that will be me substituting a four here and then i divide by what do we have the x cut the x intercept line that we're going to get x we have what a two so that is me here substituting a two and what are we going to have as a four divided by two and how much are we going to get well that is a positive two remember that this positive two here is the answer okay so this is the answer and then now the instructions are saying to other we must change the sign of the answer so what do we have as a positive two when we change the sign here we're going to have a negative two and that will be the final solution for m so what are we going to have here this is going to be a negative two x plus four okay so this is a negative two x plus four and 
that will be the equation which they were looking for. We got it right, we got it right, we got it next grade. <laughs> okay, so now let's just try to look at another example to do with these and let's see how we're going to mingle around these and have some fun. <laughs> so now uh, let's just try to clean up this, clean up there, clean up there. So we're going to clean up this and we're looking at the next example. So now, uh, that will be example number B, okay? So example number B, they're still saying the same thing to us. So now we have to determine the equation of a straight line passing through a uh, C and D. Okay? So, now, uh, let's see what are we going to have here. So this will be our work up the plane. There we go. That is Y and that is x okay so now uh, let's see what are we going to have uh looking at what we have now so we have uh that is what we're going to have so it's going to start from here there we go to that so there we go there we go so this point here what do we have at uh, this point here it's a negative four at this point here is a two okay so now uh, another thing of which I think I left out mentioning on the previous example is just that we can always double check if our answer is making sense okay so with a shape like this I must know that the value of M must be what positive okay so now let's just come into determining uh, what determining the equation of this graph here in the form of y is equal to mx plus c so we have it in the form of y is equal to mx uh, plus C. So what are we going to have here? The value of C, whatever I said, is the Y cut. So this is Y is equal to MX plus C. So the Y cut is a negative 4. So I'm just going to substitute a negative 4 right here. So getting into determining the value of M. So M is given by what? Well, M is given by the Y cut of which is a negative 4. We divide with the X cut and that is a 2, so that is going to give us what? The answer will be a minus 2, remember, to change the sign of the answer, and that is going to give us what? A 2, okay? So now what do we have? Y is equals to 2x minus 4. Oh, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn. You got it right. You got it right. Okay, so uh, now, boys and girls, you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, grannies and uh, grandpas, uh, we have reached the end of our lesson. We have reached the end of our lesson, but the thing is, I know that you have a question right there that, okay, how can I be able to contact this guy, Dr. Navario? So now, this is what you have to do. Just take your phone, take your phone, and start dialing the following number. We have 0, 7, 8, 9, 4, 1, 3, 8, 9, one and ask for who? Dr. Navario, George Pushkin. Uh, ask for George Pushkin and we, we can discuss anything which you, you want after this class. We, we do have one on one extra lessons uh, from grade 8 to 12. Uh, we, we have maths videos from grade 8 to 12. Uh, guys, we do have uh, DVDs. We do have, well, you, you, you have seen it, man. You have seen it. You have enjoyed this video. And let me just say, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you wholeheartedly for watching. And that will be the end of our video. So.
now they just try to stop the oh, look at my little girl there that is my beautiful little girl uh wait where's that where's that 